Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today and actually I'm going to talk about one of my favourite sewing books that I've been using so much recently. Um, yeah, so this isn't sponsored or anything, I just really, really, really like this book. Um, yeah, so I'll get into the video. So the book I'm talking about today is actually Gertie's Ultimate Dress Book. Um, I think I got this for Christmas? last year. Um, I didn't really use it too much at the beginning when I just got it because I had my exams and then uni and stuff but I've been using it a ton recently and I absolutely love it. I really like it mainly because the patterns are interchangeable so there's about four or five skirts, four or five tops and you can use any top with any skirt and it's amazing. So they have um, different sections in the book and I quite like actually the fact that it's um, like a ring binder I really like that because I don't because you don't have to try and like hold the page open and stuff while you're working with it um so I quite like that actually and I really like the um picture on the front and I really like the like the layout and the design of it it's really nice and it's really easy to use um so it's got a few different sections in the book um it's uh split into let me see if I can find the it's split into different sections. There's part one, which is going through skills um, in the book. And then part two, which is called wardrobe, which is basically um, like the different dresses that they've put together in the book. But of course, you can basically go and do whatever you want with any of the patterns. They go through a lot of different um, like types of fabric, um, what you might use them for. Um, stuff like that, like um, stuff to use for linings, interfacing, stuff like that. Um, it does go through the basics of like sewing machine, like what you need, what the different like notations on patterns mean. Um, yeah, so it goes through the kind of the basic stuff which is in like most other books but it's not actually too long and then it goes on to the basic structure of like making um, dresses. Um, which actually I really liked because although other books do go into detail of like what you need to do for this and like what you need and stuff, this actually is really good about like making a good, because they're all vintage uh, like style dresses and it's really good in going to like the actual like basics of making a really really well made dress. Um, you can't really see the page in the light but yeah. Um, it goes through like which like how to make the dress like which order you should do it in and which best works like that um yeah and it does go through like each different bit of the patterns that like how to sit in and how to sit in a sleeve like how to do the collar they have like a peter pan collar or a like a normal pointed collar um so it goes through all that adding pockets stuff like that it's really really good but my favorite part of the book is the um wardrobe part so they have a lot of different um dresses that they've like done and made for the book which are really really good like can give you inspiration and stuff so yeah it has a sizing chart which is really good but is a bit weird because i my bust is like basically the smallest one on here but my waist isn't and then also my hips don't even fit on here because i'm so small so these are the um, like projects they've put in the book. So there's some like basic ones. This is the they call the work dress, um, and then it tells you really usefully along underneath what it's called, like what parts they used. So this one uses the basic bodice, a-line skirt, basic sleeve and short shirt collar and cuffs. Um, there's a lot of different types of dresses. This one uses the pleated, I think it's pleated circle skirt, strapless and strapless bodice. Yeah, box pleated circle skirt and strapless bodice with the sweetheart neckline. Um, this is another different dress, which they call the sarong dress. Um, this uses the strapless bodice and sweet light, sweetheart neckline and the pencil skirt and then they've added like a strap and a little extra kind of like tie around the waist um, this is something that I use as inspiration 
it's basically a strapless dress with this blouse over the top I did make the blouse but I didn't actually end up liking it in the fabric I made it out of but this uses the sweetheart neckline the box pleat skirt the basic bodice, the Peter Pan collar and the cuffs so it uses a lot of different pieces really 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 good instructions there's also like it will say like now do the Peter Pan collar and then it will refer back to the pages at the beginning of the book which do the um, each different bit in more depth um, so yeah it's really really good um, has like illustrations as well which is good um, and it's got all sorts of different types of things. This one is uses the princess scene bodice with the three quarter length sleeves and the side pleated skirt. Um, unfortunately, the only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a list of all the different parts. So it doesn't have like the A-line skirt, the three quarter circle skirt, whatever. It doesn't have like a list of them and then like how much, roughly how much fabric they use which is the only annoying thing about it um, but other than that it's so so good because you can say like oh I really like the skirt of that dress that they've put in the book but I'm not really into like strapless dresses because I'm not only into strapless dresses that's why I did the one with the blouse over the top but I actually ended up not wearing it um, so you can like pick and choose which one you did the dress that I showed I made my mum in my last video was from this book um, I'll show you that one I made my mum this dress but without the blue ribbon around the edge um, so yeah this uses the princess theme bodice and the side pleated skirt which she really really liked so it's like still a full skirt but not as full as the one I made before which for myself which is the box pleated circle skirt which is a lot of fabric but it is really really nice especially for a um, party dress which I made it for my friend's 21st party um, so yeah it's got so many different um, different bodices and stuff in it uh, this is another bodice they do which is the I think it's called the boat neck bodice yeah boat neck bodice with a midriff piece so that's a bit different because it has that kind of like piece there in the um, middle and it's kind of gathered underneath the bust so they have loads and loads of different things and then in the back of the book they have like layouts for each of the um, dresses they've done so even though they don't show how much fabric is needed for individual pieces like each skirt whatever they do show this so you can roughly know like how much fabric is needed for each dress and then roughly work out what you needed and then in the back of the book they have the pattern pieces in this kind of like envelope thing and the pattern pieces which I really really like are um, on like actual paper rather than pattern paper which I do prefer because even though pattern paper is obviously like you can cut it out and stuff it's so thin and like often rip pattern paper um, so this one you trace, because um, obviously it's got all the different sizes and all the different pieces. I think there's four pieces of paper and they're all double sided. So on the, um, in the book it says like you'll need pattern pieces one, two, four for um, the different like patterns that you need. So they open out and they've got all the patterns on with all the different skirts and tops and everything. So there's like four different um, bits. So I've been using like, most of the time I use uh, like wrapping paper, like thin cheap wrapping paper because it's cheap and it's easy to trace on. Um, I did have some like tracing paper that was specifically made for dress making but it's just so expensive that I end up using that or sometimes I use like grease proof paper. Uh, to trace out the things which is really good because sometimes when I buy a pattern say it's like four sizes 8 to 14 I'll want to cut an 8 for myself but then if my mum wants me to make one for her later she needs like a 12 and then I don't want to have to cut it out and it's really difficult to trace whereas these are much easier to trace because they're thicker and they're a lot easier to use and I really really like them um so yeah this I hope you enjoyed this um, type of video and that you found it interesting and that maybe you'll go out and buy this book because I really really like it and I think anyone who wants to make a lot of dresses um, and loves making like party dresses and stuff like that even like day dresses I'm definitely going to use this to make some dresses for like work and stuff out of some black fabric I'm also making a dress for my graduation in January which I'm going to use the box pleated circle skirt with a um, the basic bodice and little cap sleeves um, I'm going to make it in like a kind of thick black um, fabric for my graduation because it's in 
January, so I think it's been a bit cold. Um, so yeah, I think this is a really, really good book for anyone who's starting off sewing or any experienced sewers because it has like so many different patterns in it. Um, on the back it says it's £21.99. Um, so it is, it's like, it's not cheap, but I wouldn't say it's very expensive. I've seen other books that are more expensive. I think considering the fact that you get about 10 different like patterns, so you get like five skirts and five tops, it's really really good price so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more sewing videos I'm also going to start doing some like beauty and lifestyle related videos if anyone's interested in those comment down below um yeah so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye